make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell to get all my uploads every day. And for God's sakes, follow me on Twitter. What are you waiting for? Come on, go do it! Do it up, baby! What is going on, my homies that know me, the chicks that dig me, and everybody who thinks I'm cool? I am the real Tourette Gamer, bringing you the truth about Call of Duty. And today, what I have for you guys are five ways that will improve your game instantly. Now, these are five tips that I don't hear anybody say. And these five tips will drastically improve your game instantly. How instantly? Maybe the next game instantly. So before we get into it, I am going to again promote my Twitter. Please guys, follow me on Twitter. Uh, you guys can follow me at really noob. That's noob with three O's. I'll go ahead and put it on the screen. Uh, if you guys go ahead and follow me, I'll probably follow you back. And also you can get ultimate up to date and latest. Just on everything. Videos, how I feel, my rants, everything. But let's get right into the video. Five ways to improve your game instantly. Number one use your grenades guys you have grenades for a reason every class has grenades in this call of duty every class is going to have the ability to have grenades now on prior call of duties you know we, we had an option where we can take the grenade off uh, you know to put in another attachment or another perk stuff like that and it's been like that for a couple of call of duties now but in this game you have to have a grenade um, I'm pretty sure there's like maybe a basic training perk that like takes away your grenade, but I don't think anyone would run it. So use your grenades, guys. I see people all the time, they go, you know, they go through the whole game without using their grenades. You get a grenade every time you, every time you respawn. So if you get a kill with the grenades, I mean, think about how many more kills you can get. You know, if you respawn, let's say you die 15 times and you don't use a grenade in any of those times, that could be 15, that could be added onto your scoreboard, that can be added onto your KD. So make sure you guys go ahead and use grenades. I mean, like I said, you get them for a reason. Make use of them. If you don't use them, you're ta you could be taking away kills. Like, you can be, uh, even if you're playing Domination, if you throw a grenade into B or A or C and get kills, I mean, you're... If you don't use them, you're taking away defense. So, number one, use grenades. Now, number two, and I see tons of people do this. Number two, pick the map. After every game, you have the ability to pick the next map. And every game, I see like one or two votes. That's it. There, if there's 12 people in the lobby, I sh you shouldn't see just one or two votes. Why do I say pick the map? Well, what if what if the next map is your favorite map that you know you do good on? Okay? Pick that map. It's that simple. I mean, if, if you got two maps and they both have one or two votes, and you know one of the map is a map that you do good at, break the tie and pick the map that you do good at. And the same thing goes to the other end. If you If you have a map that you don't like, that you know you don't do good at, then don't pick that map and pick the other map. I mean, if they're tied, then you gotta pick the other map, you know? Um, another, another example is, let's say you don't like both the maps. Well, if you don't like both the maps and you know you're not going to do good, first off, that's the wrong confidence. You need confidence, but pick the classified. So, tip number two is pick the map. Because, like I said, these tips will help you instantly. That is pretty instant right there. And if you can, and if you can pick a map that you know you do good at, it will make you a better player. Now, the third tip I'm going to give for all the hardcore players out there. Um, I like hardcore. I also play core. But the third tip is don't team kill. Now, there's couple examples why I say don't team kill and the first one it can hurt your KD because if you team kill someone the chances of them team killing you back are like 90% and you know another example is let's say you know you're in the middle of the match and you've already team killed two players whether it was by accident or not the next person you team kill you're gonna not only get a death on you but you're also gonna have to wait 20 seconds to respawn so don't team kill I mean, that's, it's pretty, pretty important. There are people out there that will get pissed because you killed them, even if it was by accident, and they will kill you. And all that stuff can affect your KD. Uh, number four, 
Um, and this has to do with, you know, domination players. Uh, watch your score streaks and watch the time. I see way too many people call in their score streaks and it just go, goes right to half. I'll literally watch people call in their score streaks with like 95 points, with 95, with five points left until halftime. They'll call it in. It's such a waste. Like if you get a UAV or a recon and you call it in, it's going to last you like six seconds and you won't get it back in the second half. It's a literally the worst time to call your score streak in. My theory is, you know, if you get a score streak and you and just check at the time real quick first off and if if it's like if there's like I don't know like 40 points until halftime it depends on the score streak but I'll wait I mean if it's a big I score streak domination. like paratroopers or you know a carpet bomb and there's only like 30 points left I might wait I, I might wait because the chances of you re-racking until until halftime are pretty slim to none so I'll actually wait to call in my score streaks at that point now the five final tip I'm going to give you and this one is big guys do not play tired that will help your game instantly don't play tired when you're tired, your reaction time is off, your response time is off, your awareness is off. Uh, when, you, when you play tired, you're not in the same mindset, so don't play tired. And even if you are tired and you think you can drink an energy drink to fix it, I mean, it's really not going to help it. You're just going to crash faster and harder. So again, do not play tired. Get yourself some sleep. If you are tired and you want to grind the game, at least take a power nap so you can get right back out there and destroy. So those are my tips on to how to get better. They will help you instantly. Uh, I am going to leave you with the rest of this gameplay. I go 44 and 21. Um... Guys, again, follow me on Twitter, at ReallyNoob. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification bell to be alerted so you never have to miss an upload or a live stream, guys. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of this gameplay. Stay cool, fool. Don't hate. Eat some cake, thick thighs, and bright eyes. And as always, guys, keep on grinding. Securing Kaza. Enemy taking B. Anton is lost. Recon aircraft scrambled. Kaza locked it up. Recon airborne searching for targets. B is lost. Movement in the cage. Fight concluded. Taking A. We call that cross. Fight spot ready. A captured. Anton is overrun. Need reinforcements.
Taking A. Closing with Anton. Objective Kaiser. Kaiser is taken. Counter attack. Thank you for watching this video guys, make sure you watch the previous video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and you guys have a nice day.